Yeah, let's see. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. This is Dino. And Uncle Al. Now, you can call me DieBullfrog79 on my uh, YouTube channel right there. And let's get things started off. Hi, everybody. Hi, boys and girls. From Matt, Prepping and Survival. He sent me a nice package through the mail. Hey. And it has a uh, knockoff Chinese copy of the Mora knife from China. Really good. I like these. I keep them all around the house. In my toolbox, glove compartment, bedroom, under my pillow. Hey, Uncle Han's not taking any chances. It's a cheap knife like if you've seen Matt's video. But in Uncle Alan's hand, hey, I'll take out a kidney or a throat. Anyway, I like key bars. Key bars are better. I lost, I have some cheaper ones, Chinese made ones. I gotta get my real key bars. I keep losing them. I keep sticking in somebody's rib cage. Okay, and also I got this wonderful, let's see. I think it's the uh, second of it. I can't see too good. You got, excuse Uncle Alan, it only has one eyeball. And I have cataracts in that eye. The Second Amendment patch. Thank you very much, um, Matt, from Matt's Prepping and Survival. Uh, let's see there. So go please check out his channel. It's a great channel. He did one on knives. Great video. Go check it out. Now, my beef is I always check out these magazines and I know Hubble's Cat and everybody downside, but I keep following the trends and I make sure what the hell's going on. And a lot of people like YouTube Rewind, these people are out of the touch, out of the loop. I don't know what the heck they're smoking. I think it's meth. This isn't too bad, but the other one is worse. Now, whoever is giving them information needs to get a stick and beat them over the head and tell them not to smoke meth while writing these. Um, it's basically a catalog for selling stuff, but I like the pictures and I like the articles. Once in a while we get a good one, but this year it's been pretty slim and pretty crappy. Yeah, let's see. Now this one's my favorite. It's called Off Grid. And you want to see something horrible? Urban Survival. And they have all this stuff. I haven't went through these magazines yet, but it always gives me a good laugh. And a lot of information in them. Okay, some of it's just sales product, fear porn, fear mongering. Uncommon doesn't do fear porn. He does um, fact-based stuff. So like I said, if you want to see somebody who's a working guy like Uncle Al, I had some college education, but uh, after some Democrats beat the crud out of Uncle Alan, I'm not too happy about going back to college. And that was 40 years ago. Anyway, and let's give big thanks to Matt's Prepping and Survival. Now, if you're in the New York area or the Northeast, um, be careful because Uncle Alan has been calculating a bit. And I know weather patterns. Some areas, Plain States, um, Plain States, the Northeast, Northwest, you're going to have some very weird weather pattern changes. Because unlike Hubble's cat, I agree with Earth changes, but sometimes Hubble cat says, "Well, it's a lot of man-made stuff." Well, Hubble's cat got the flu, and I think it went to his head. Also, we're having torque rotation problems. Now, a lot of people look at Uncle Al and go see Hubble's cat. He has a good one on radiation on plants and animals. Really good. A lot of people don't understand it. Go watch it twice. Uncle Alan's been in the military and did the broken arrow bits too many times, and I know what's going on. Now, uh, the big headache with global changes or climate changes it's not partially man-made, it's also partially, well, some of it's man-made and some of it's by nature. And also, it doesn't help when you blow up atomic bombs all over the place. Now, torque rotation. A lot of you don't understand. The world's not a perfect sphere. It's pear-shaped. Okay? 
Now, when you blow up atomic bombs all over the place, it's going to affect the planet's rotation or torque. Now, if you torque it out too much, you're going to have extreme heat or you have extreme cold. Now, what happens is we got both. We got cold and heat. This is why I keep mentioning fire and ice. But a lot of you people are like, eh, that's biblical. Or, eh, I don't know what the hell is Uncle Adam's talking about. <clears throat> I'm trying to say this very clear. Okay? Torque rotation. Uh, it's way past Hubble's cat's head. But... The big problem with torque rotation, a lot of people don't even notice it on the radar. Tell them, Uncle Alan. Okay, torque rotation is the turning of the Earth and the wind patterns. Now, when you mess that up, it's like, oh, let's jab a stick in the fan belt. See what happens. Okay, what do you think is going to happen? You got your truck. I stick a big stick in your fan belt and your fan. What's going to happen to your truck? Not very good sight. Okay, now think about it, kids. Yeah, kids, listen to Karma. Okay, this is my updates and stuff. I want to try to keep it short because I know you guys got less pen, uh, attention span, especially Generation Z. So I'll make another one about the YouTube, what's happening with the purges and stuff. The, I already told that one, how many months ago? Six, seven months ago? Another video. Nobody ever listens to Uncle Al, it's fine. Yeah, you're all nuts. <coughs> uh, never mind, you know. But anyway, boys and girls, back to the torquing. The big problem with that is some areas like where Pentucky Survival, uh, it's going to be high winds and high rains. Please be careful. Keep an eye for really weird looking fast moving clouds. Now a lot of people say, oh, never tornadoes out here. It's near New York City or Washington, D.C. Well, get your head straight, kids. They had a big one in 1812 tornado or hurricane or both at Washington, D.C. New York before the Civil War got clobbered a lot by tornadoes. And that was the little ice age shifting a little bit. Now, right now, where I can't predict what is it going to be global warming or global cooling or both. It seems to me it's going to be both. Sorry about that, Hubble's cat. But we're talking about our friends out here like Kentucky Survival. You've got to be careful. You could either have a snornado, you have snow, and then a hurricane or a tornado comes ripping through. Or you could have, like in um, Just In Time Prepping, please check out his channel today, later this evening, around 7, I think. I'm not too sure. I'm glad I'm a little loopy because I take about 12 or 7 rounds of different medications to stay alive. But uh, I'm trying to remember what, what's going on. Oh, I think uh, Will from Just In Time Prepping, cool. please check out his channel. Um, I think his area, Nebraska, is going to have a warming trend followed by high winds, violent high winds. Uh, that goes all the way from Nebraska down to uh, Oklahoma and north part of the Panhandle. I'm not too sure of Texas, the little sticky part of Texas that sticks out. And then east part of Texas, more rain. It, it's kind of like uh, somebody took a snow globe of the world and went, <laughs> okay, that's the best thing to describe it. So anyway, boys and girls, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. Like and subscribe to Old Uncle Al, a.k.a. DieBlowFrog79. God bless, stay safe, and Merry Christmas, boys and girls. I'll catch you later. Yeah, catch them later. Bye.